family. I'm back. It's your girl, the Flight Empress. And we're going to jump into an energy update regarding love for those of you um, who could be in separation at this time or you could be with someone right now. Um, but I'm picking up like romantic partners. Yeah, I feel like there is some type of problem for some of you. You've been going through with a lover here. Um, I'm hearing I'm hearing repeating cycles. Or something is starting to become too much, okay? Somebody could be pulling on your energy a lot right now. I'm hearing calling, blowing you up. Um, somebody could be wanting to put their negative energy on you. I am hearing that whoever this is, they could be going through a lot at this time. And it's like they're looking at you as an outlet, like a way to release or let go. Um, this person could be projecting anger on you. All right. For some of you, whoever this is, they could have caused so much problems in your life where you don't start gaining weight or like for some of you guys, you could be an emotional eater. Um, somebody could be doing things in excess. I'm, I keep hearing overindulging. This could be in food, shopping. Um, this could also be sex. But yeah, something here is out of balance. Okay, we got Pisces, Sagittarius energy. I'm also hearing anger, a lot of anger. Somebody definitely could be lashing out or wanting to bring all their problems to you, okay? But for a lot of you guys, I feel like um, whoever this is, they feel like you can help them in some type of situation that they're going through. I feel like for some of them, this could be external. This could be related to childhood issues or things they went through in the past. For some of them, I'm hearing mother issues or this is giving me like past relationships. Somebody have a lot of healing that they need to do. And like I said, whoever this is, family, I feel like for most of you guys, you could be in separation with this person. They feel like you got the ability to heal them. But I'm picking up like this is somebody who have to want to heal. This is somebody who only want to heal the outside or the external part. It's like they don't want to do the inner work. For some of you, I'm picking up like therapeutic. Your energy is very therapeutic. Your spirit is. This person could come to you when they are in trouble or when they're having problems. Yeah. I feel like there's somebody who's going to be reaching out to you, family, this weekend. If you are in separation with this person. But for some of you guys, I feel like if you've been in a situation with this person you're going to be focusing on breaking free, okay? You're realizing there's something, it's a cycle. Or this person is keeping you in a loop. It's like one minute they apologize to you, the next minute they want to argue, they want to fight, they want to project. And for a lot of you, you're tired of dealing with this. You're noticing that this is keeping you stuck. For some of you, you could be having to heal your own inner child issues. This could be with a mother or a father or something you went through in the past. It's like you're realizing what's causing you to be stuck in this type of situation. And for a lot of you, you are choosing to let go or break free. Yeah, but I'm hearing that there is somebody who don't want to let you go. Somebody don't want to let you go. You could be, this person could look at you as like a mother figure, or you could be the mother of this person's child. Or for some of you guys, you nurtured this person like a mother. I'm hearing your love was unconditional and they knew that. But this could have been somebody who still broke your heart. Yeah, we got the tower. Okay. Somebody is in a lot of destructive energy. I am picking up a lot of trauma here. There could possibly end up being some type of altercation or a fight. Somebody could be thinking about getting a divorce because they done been through so much pain. Yeah, but it's like this person is constantly creating chaos or causing issues in a relationship. And I feel like most of you guys who's resonating with this, you know this. This is somebody who could say that they're going to change time after time, but they never do. And I'm seeing like spirit is coming in to remove what no longer benefit you okay or what's holding you back 
was hindering you in your life. Somebody could be going bankruptcy or somebody could be losing a lot of money, spending a lot of money. I'm hearing unnecessary. I'm hearing blowing money. There's going to be some type of revelation that's going to take place. Because somebody is always wondering why they're in debt. But I feel like this person is the cause or they're dealing with people who want expensive things or they want to live outside of their their means and this person is trying to supply these people okay but if you are married to this person or you and this person together you could be asking this person like what are you spending your money on something about finding receipts yeah something is for somebody something is going to be crumbling this weekend okay we got the king of earth this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio energy here too. This person could be the main supply or the provider of the family. Um, yeah. Um, this person could provide for you or like I said, you could be married to this person or this is somebody you done been in a long-term commitment with. Um, but it's like you're noticing a change with this person or you notice like this person use the fact that they provide for the family to get away with bullshit. Okay. That's for somebody. For other people, I'm picking up like this could be a con man or a con artist. Somebody who um, leech on to people to use them or, you know, to gain some type of uh, monetary gain or supply. Somebody could be looking at you as supply at this time, but there could have been a tower that took in place. Somebody know that whatever they did to you, that is coming back on them. I feel like this person burnt a bridge with you too fast. Yeah, somebody is wanting to rebuild a bridge, okay? But they ain't got the tools or they ain't got the supply. Something about the supply being on the other side. I feel like you and this person could be separated or this is somebody who's feeling distant from you or maybe you and this person haven't talked in a long time. But honey, baby child, this person want to come back. Okay, they do. Um, but for many of them, they know you don't already let go. You don't cut them loose. You don't surrender. Yeah, you accepted things for how it really was. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you chose to choose yourself you chose spirit something about spirit healing you or molding you working with you you're no longer fighting against the ties yeah something about you letting spirit lead you to the right place or the right person for some of you guys you are waiting for the right person you could be celibate right now or you could have met somebody um, but you could be, you know, keeping it cute and sweet. You know, you're not giving up the cookie so quick. You're getting to know different people or this is something that's going to be coming in. But I'm here regaining control over your life. But somebody know that they messed up big time with you. They know this already. Okay. Yeah, crown chakra. So, yeah, this person I had an epiphany or a realization an awakening, some type of truth could have came out that they made a bad um, choice. Okay, I'm hearing a bad deal. Somebody was dealing with the devil is what I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody walked away from an earth angel and they sacrificed it all. Something was hidden from this person to protect you or to protect um, what spirit got coming towards you. I'm also hearing dreams. This person that had a revelation through their dreams. This is somebody who know you're about to have a lot of peace in your life. And for some of you, you already know that this is a bad um, decision or like I'm hearing ain't no coming back. Okay. You already know what this person is going through. Something about uh, warfare being reversed on this person. Because for some of you guys, this is somebody who's been sending you spiritual warfare or trying to cause some type of spiritual warfare in your life okay i'm hearing the jokes on you yeah a lot of you guys you are rediscovering yourself who you are spirit is showing you who people are and i definitely feel like your angels done showed you who this person is 
yeah, you're, you've been awakened, okay? For a lot of you guys, I feel like you know that something is coming towards you and you have to protect it at all costs, okay? You could be connecting to source, your spirit gods. You could be taking time out to meditate or you're needing to do this, okay? Because I'm hearing divine instructions are going to be coming in. Yeah. Show me what I need to see. We got inner childhood wound. <laughs> Baby, I'm picking up your triggering this person inner childhood woundings here. This person feel very insecure at this time. They also feel like people around them are abandoning them. Um, I keep hearing a huge mistake. They're feeling very lost. They just knew they was right. They just knew that by walking away from you and going to this person or that person, that they was going to get more or they was going to be on top, only to find out that they was digging a hole deeper and deeper and deeper, that they was falling the whole time. Something about spirit burning um, some type of fake life down in this person's life. Something in this person's life is burning. Or this person could be burning. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. There could be a child in the mix of this. Okay. Somebody somebody could have a child with a karmic. Or I'm picking up two karmics here. And there's a child caught in the middle of this. Whoever this person is, they're wanting to escape. Even if this child is not this person, okay, somebody could have a child, but they're wanting to escape this place or wherever they are right now. Whoever they're living with, dealing with, um, involved with, they're trying to escape. They're wanting to run away. There's a lot of fighting and arguments in this home, but they don't, somebody is not realizing the pain that they're causing the child here. For some of you, you could have a child with this person. And maybe this person been trying to like talk to you to come back with you. Okay. It could be a child that I already know that it's going to be a bunch of fights or arguments and they don't want this. Okay. Y'all, that's something that I do not believe in. If my kids will not accept somebody that I'm dating, I don't care if it's their father or whoever, I will not let them in my home. Okay. I'm, that's just me. I'm sorry. You know, my kids have to be comfortable with whoever I'm dealing with. Something about animals or children don't even like being around this person. They could always be angry or in a bad mood or they like to project their energy. This person could blow up and not have a reason why or they're easily triggered. Somebody is um taking their anger out on other people because they know that they're not allowed to come back into your life or spirit is blocking them from being with you. Or you know so much information about them. Okay. Yeah. Spirit, what else? The world. Okay. There's an ending that's taking place in a new beginning here. For some of you guys, you're about to travel. This person could know you, you're about to move. I'm also seeing that there's a cycle that's about to be complete. Somebody is about to finally rest or be at peace in their life. So they could begin a new stage. For some of you, I feel like there could be a new person that's going to be coming into your life. At the bottom of the deck, we got Leo and we got Taurus sticking out really heavy, even Scorpio energy. So for some of you guys, I'm picking up that there could be multiple people that's going to be coming into your life. But it's like in the past, you could have made mistakes. You could have moved too fast. You could have did too much. It's like now you know how to move, okay? When it comes to relationships or love, yeah, like not putting too much in. I'm here and follow the leader. Yeah, when I move, you move just like that. Yeah. So what? whoever this person is going to be coming into your life, I feel like you're going to be taking this person lead, like see how they treat you and that's how you're going to treat them. But if it's something that you don't like, you're not going to get so involved with that person or be intimate with that person where you can't disconnect from them or just walk away. For some of you guys, you're really going to get to know a person's true character or their personality, okay? Even their family, their background, what they like, what they don't like, their spiritual practices. You know, you're going to be digging deeper than you did in the past. 
And I feel like this is going to bring in like somebody who's very abundant, somebody who got a lot to give to you, somebody who is a good provider, provider or dependable, somebody who have a lot of wisdom. And for some of you guys, like I said, you can have children. This is a good father figure for your kids to be around, especially if you got boys, even little girls. OK, something about this person loving kids, they could have grew up. Uh, with a lot of cousins or they got nieces and nephews. Um, this could also be somebody who can't have kids. Yeah, I'm hearing that too. I'm picking up excitement here though. Somebody could have kids, but they don't grew up. All right. You could, you could have kids that's older, but you can have like little kids too. I feel like this person is wanting to come in. I'm hearing um that song. Diamonds and pearls, okay? All I can do is offer you my love. Uh, yeah, something about this person want to travel the world with you. I'm also seeing Aladdin and Jasmine. I'm hearing that song. Yeah, something about a carpet ride. This person could be wanting to like fly you across the world or go on vacation with you. Somebody that you guys was dealing with is about to watch another person treat you the way you're supposed to be treated. And I'm hearing losing their cool. All right. Somebody is going to have a mental breakdown here. But it's like you and this new person, y'all matches each other energy. And that's why things wasn't going well, in your life, for some of you guys, you've been going through a lot of storms here, earthquakes, uh, hurricanes, trauma, drama, you know, trying to make something fit or work and it just fall apart. Spirit has been working on you to lead you to somebody who's supposed to be in your life and somebody who's going to add to your value in your worth because this person was not worthy of you. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing with a penny with a hole in it, <laughs> okay? If somebody here was worthless or, you know, they treated you like you was worthless. Yeah, they're going to find out who you really is, though, okay? 5D, what I say, baby? You manifesting this person here. Yeah, this is unconditional love, true love. This is something that you, this is someone you guys are connecting with now at this time. For those of you who are in this energy or resonate with this reading, this person is going to be one. I'm hearing the two of you guys are going to be one with each other, but you had to become one within yourself first. I'm also seeing you guys co-create or build. Yeah, I'm hearing money trees, okay, or foundation roots. Something about you guys setting down firm roots. Or something that's going to always put out, okay? This is giving me like investments as well. And look, both of these cards, okay? I'm getting meditation. Some of you guys are needing to meditate or like go to nature and meditate here. Um, some type of answer or divine answers are going to be coming in. Some of you could be going to a park, okay? Or you could be in your backyard, but some type of information is going to come in towards you. Your spirit guides are going to be able to speak to you clearly. You're going to be able to hear them or understand them. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, we got tarot reader. Some of you, you could be a tarot reader. Something about you guys moving into the 5D. I picked this up on the last reading. Okay. You could be getting like some type of clarity. They go to train. I'm telling you, there's a split that's taking place right now on earth. And I feel like the collective have been feeling it very heavy, but you got very low vibrational people that's trying to pull on your energy, okay? Whoever this past person is, they could be going to a tarot reader, okay? Or like trying to get advice or they trying to see something into your future, but the truth has been revealed. Somebody done told this person the truth. Yeah, they want to know how this happened or when did this happen or at first they was going through this and now they're going through that, you know. Now they finna have this, this abundance. Now they finna have everything that I thought I was going to get. How did this happen? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, 
somebody is shook or shocked about some type of information they're about to receive. Okay. Um, <laughs> for some of you guys, you could be getting some type of consulting done. You could be getting a reading or something as well. Something about if you've been feeling this, you know. Okay, don't question it. I'm here. Don't question it. Somebody could be thinking about becoming a tarot reader. For some of you, you could be a reader or you could read for yourself. This person know you're psychically gifted, okay? Or you got some type of ability here. You've been anointed. Yeah, spirits speak to you or speak through you as well. Yeah, they can't get away with nothing anymore. I feel like this person could have got away with a lot in the past. But for a lot of you, you've been going through rebirth after rebirth, okay? Spiritual awakenings after spiritual awakenings, okay? Yeah, this shit ain't gonna fly with you no more. It's what I'm hearing. And they know. They also want to know who you dealing with. It's what I'm hearing too. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. They feel like you already done found somebody in your life. Or there's somebody that you're missing. They feel like it's not them. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like this person is definitely still dealing with other people. And spirit is saying that you there's a choice you're going to have to make. You already seen somebody true colors here. So you can choose to go right or go left. Okay, there's a decision you're going to have to make. Somebody only hook up with people for money or like I said, to gain something. Whether there's energy, time, or place. Um, access, jewelry, okay, clothes. Somebody only link up with women or men just to gain access, okay? But once they get what they got, they cold. They go cold and they gone, okay? They leave you feeling empty or incomplete. Yeah. Um, like I said, family, you already know. I feel like you already know who this person is. Definitely could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Okay, Queen of Cups. You know, okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, baby. You got some water in your chart. Yeah, for some of you guys, you know the truth about a Virgo. Okay, you know the truth about a Virgo here. You can feel it in your bones, in your spirit, okay. Yeah, I'm hearing energy and motion. You already know what's going on with this person. This is somebody who's been refusing to change. They're very picky. I'm also picking up like lying, lying. This person been lying a lot. This is somebody who's overly independent on other people. I mean, overly dependent on other people. I feel like this person tried to gain independence, but they have a very hard time staying that way okay or having some type of stability in their life i feel like this person is ignored by you right now because you're so strong or you're holding back your energy your emotions a lot of you guys you're focusing on your healing and they know this they know you are this person is very discontent in their life right now but they're choosing to stay this way because they're not trying to change they still want to manipulate you. Um, I'm also hearing opportunists. They still want to come in and con you or play games with you. But you're not going to allow this to happen no more. A lot of you, you're realizing you deserve the best. And I feel like this is what you've been giving yourself. This is what spirit has been giving you. All right. And somebody else is about to give you this too. Yeah. This person is in their emotions right now. Okay. Because things are not turning out the way they thought it was going to turn out. They thought you was going to come back crawling, begging, crying, plead, pleading. All right. They thought you was going to do all that. Yeah, I'm hearing messed up. Somebody messed up in the head or this person is back and forth in their head a lot about you. They are watching you or keeping tabs on you as well. Asking people about you. Yeah. I'm hearing, have you seen her? Seen her? <laughs> yeah, somebody want to know. 
Some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a Gemini here, or you could be a Gemini. Um, we got shadow work. Hmm. So this card kind of came out sideways. Whoever this is, they know that there's a lot in their life they're going to have to let go in order to be with you. This person is struggling to do this. They are struggling to do this. But they know if they want any chance of being happy or like experiencing true love, real love, or having any type of access with you, they're going to have to let this go. They're going to have to let the toxic behaviors go, the addictions go, the drugs go, the alcohol go, the women go, you know, certain friends or family members. They're going to have to let this go. Yeah. But this is somebody who have the tendency to go back and forth. Okay. You don't trust this person because one minute they tell you that they changing. Okay. But when they get you, okay, they back and forth like, well, what they don't know won't hurt them. Okay. And then they do some backhanded shit. Okay. Yeah. Somebody love to play a lot of games, family. I'm picking up a karmic masculine here. Yeah. A karmic twin. You know the truth about this person. And they hate that. They hate that shit. They really do. They hate it. Oh. Oh. What to say? What to say? What did I say? I know I said. All right. Yeah. They hate that shit. You done figured out they game. You already know what what piece they're going to play or how they're going to move. Okay. You done studied this person. Spirit done showed you everything you need to see about this person. So you know what you guys are going to do. You're going to move accordingly. Okay. A lot of you, you are about to start dating. For some of you, you haven't dated in a long time. I feel like um, for some of you, you're going to meet somebody um, new and this is going to be your person, okay, off the bat, okay? I'm here in six months or less. Some of you could end up getting married six months or less or something. I'm burping, y'all. Those are spiritual burps or whatever I'm saying is true. Um, but others of you, I feel like I said something about you taking your time. Okay, not pouring all your eggs in one basket. Really getting to know a person or studying a person or, you know, before you invest your heart into them. You're going to run up on the right one, okay? For some of you guys, you're about to be happily married. Yeah. I'm here and stuck together. Yeah, something about you and this person being stuck together or like doing everything together. Like this is somebody that you automatically, this person is not going to only tell you, but they're going to show you how much they love or they care about you. I'm hearing no questions asked. Like you don't, you don't have those thoughts of, is he cheating on me? I wonder if he's talking to somebody behind my back. He must be texting his girlfriend. He ain't text me back yet. It's not going to be none of that. You're going to know is what I'm hearing here. I'm hearing electric. Something about when you touch this person, hug this person, or like even touch hands. You can feel the energy in this person's body. I'm hearing it's godly or this could be a goddess. Yeah, I'm hearing get ready to shake the world. Yeah, for some of you guys, this is a true twin flame, okay? Something about this being a true twin flame here with the two heads. For some of you, you was dealing with a false twin, all right? But this the real one. Sometimes a karmic twin have to come into your life to teach you the lessons that you need to learn before your true twin flame come in, okay? That's for some of you. For some of you, this is definitely your spiritual spouse, Okay, I'm hearing you found me. You found me. Yeah, something about your ancestors leading you and this person together. I ain't lying. Okay, Ace of Swords, it's the truth. Some type of communication going to come in here from the ethers. Okay, for some of you guys, it's birds. Okay, I'm hearing flocks. Some of you could be seeing a lot of black birds or crows. 
Y'all know a group of crows are called murder, right? Something about when this person, this ex-person find out who you dealing with, this person is going to feel like they done been murdered. Like, I'm hearing heart ripped out of their chest because they never thought, they never fathom, fathom that you will walk away from them and give your heart or your love to someone else, okay? But you're taking your power back. Yeah, you're, I'm hearing lead. You're, you're a leader or something about you being stronger. And so if you're strong and this person weak, why would spirit put you with a weak person? Spirit is going to put, put you with somebody who's just as strong, just as powerful. Okay. For some of you, this could happen in Libra season. Okay. I'm getting Libra energy here. But yeah, that's what I got y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And until we talk again later, I love y'all so much. Peace.